what's up everybody phil the kaiju king back i wanted to talk some wonder fest which happened yesterday in japan and uh my thoughts on some of the stuff and i'm my initial thought was up where well let's are taking a beating especially if you're a show a fan um we want well i'll move on to the first item the topic and we'll do that right now it's the 1966 fsl set let's do that now all right everybody the 1966 FSL set combo sculpt. This is what I love about it. 30 centimeter. It's Godzilla 1966 flailing Ibra over his head like he did in the film. Um, these are my two Godzilla customs I have from that film made by Mark Sang Yang. I'm going to be glad to add some X plus love to the 66 Godzilla 30 centimeter scale. Um, it, I think it looks really unique and cool. They should do more sculpts like this with the combination p capturing a fight scene from the films. I, I think I think it's a good idea myself. I think it's around four hundred, a little over four hundred dollars US. So it's a little pricey, but uh, you're getting practically two figures there. So I also have the Ibra thirty centimeter, but I didn't bring it up here. So I'll be glad to add that into this collection of the 66 uh, Godzilla versus the Sea Monster. That one uh, looks to be pretty cool. Let's move on to the next one right now. Next one was a 25 centimeter Godzilla 2003. Closed mouth. Looks pretty gnarly. The big scar, of course, on his chest. I don't know if I'll get that or not. Um... I'm not real particular about what I pick beyond Showa and the uh, new new era stuff, so not really sure on that one for sure. I'm still debating on it, but it doesn't look bad. I mean, to me, I'm looking at it on my phone, so closed mouth, really mean looking look on its face. That one's up in the air for me. All right, let's move on to the next one and do that right now. I did King Ghidorah 2019. I'm guessing this is will be at the 25 centimeter to go with uh, the other 25 centimeters, Godzilla and Rodan. I'm surprised. I thought Mothra would come next and then King Ghidorah. Just my opinion. Um, I just kind of figured they'd save Ghidorah for last because I figured that thing's going to be about 400 bucks, my opinion. And I wonder on this picture... Is that the pose it's going to have? Or, you know, a lot of questions about Ghidorah. I don't know what to think about it until I see a, a sculpt. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens anyway. All right, let's move on to the next one uh, right now. All right, everybody, next is the D for Real, gigantic D for Real Shin Godzilla. I think I'll probably end up ordering this when it comes out. I like D for Reals a lot. Got a lot of Shin stuff already, but... Um, this looks to be, it says gigantic D for real, so I'm guessing this thing is around a size of a 25 centimeter maybe, I don't know. Be interesting to see its actual size, I'd like to see it beside a 25 centimeter figure, but it looks way bigger than a regular D for real. I think it might be pretty cool. Alright, let's move on to the next uh, items, and let's do that now. Alright everybody. We've almost got all this in 30 centimeter, kind of. Um, we got a 30 centimeter JJ, 30 centimeter Megalon from this year, this past year, figure of the year, I believe. This is a 72 Gigan. Fits in nicely, I think, except for he should be a little taller. My custom 73 Godzilla. Um, brought these up to celebrate the D for reels that are coming. Jet Jaguar had already been announced and I pre-ordered the standard on Hobby Search and then now they came right, didn't waste no time and came right with Godzilla, Megalon, and Gigan. So I think that's cool. That's pretty awesome they did that. Um, I can't wait for that, all four of those. I'm a big show guy. Love this movie. Love Godzilla vs. Megalon. It's a great movie. Great Great kaiju fighting in that movie. Some crazy spectacular things go on, but uh, nonetheless, it's uh, I enjoy it very much. So, really looking forward to these uh, these right here, for sure. All right, let's move on to the next item, and let's do that now. All right, everybody. Next item: the Guanji Star Ace X Plus 
Harryhausen from the movie 1969 Valley of the Guanji. My favorite Harryhausen film. Can't wait for that figure there. Going to try to wrangle me up one. I did not pre-order it, but I this is it looks like the deluxe edition with the where he killed the pterodactyl. But I I don't really need to have that one per se, so I'll probably find a standard. To me though, it's straight on his head. It looks funny. I don't know if it was like that in the movie or not. I it looks as funny. His head shape looks a little strange to me there, but the rest of him looks awesome. Not sure about that, but uh, we'll see. I definitely want to try to uh, get me one. I think it's going to be a great, great addition to the Harry House. And I've only got uh, Retosaurus so far, and I did order a Triceratops. And it, hopefully, I'll get it this coming week. But uh, we'll see what Guanji comes out in the final product. But it looks fairly good there to me. All right, let's move on to the next item. Let's do that now. All right, everybody. Godzilla Gigan set from 1972. 25 centimeter, it is a set. A lot of talk on this one, I think, because this Godzilla looks to be this 71 as a re release. Looks to be the same pose and everything. Um, I think that I agree with that, but it does look to be that he has some uh, blood in between his eyes and on his nose area when Gigan made him bleed. So I'm probably going to end up getting this set for sure. I think, um, even though I do have this, I, I kind of wish they were 30 centimeter, but uh, I think a lot of people do, especially the Godzilla and a true 72. I know, and I know a lot of people griped about it's just this, this figure re, redone. Um, and I think it is. I do agree with that. Um, I, I don't know. I might, I, I'm debating on this one. It's like the 2003 Godzilla. I'm not sure. All right, everybody, we'll move on to the next one. And probably my favorite, honestly. Let's do that now. And yeah, everybody, here's my 30 centimeter Godzilla 67 with a newborn Mania there, Manila. This is probably actually my favorite announcement alongside the 66 FSL. <laughs> I mean, look at this. This is adorable. Like, <laughs> I think it's awesome. Um, I seen that and I'm like, yeah, that's a uh, insta buy for me. I know my friend Gojira eight fifty one Mac Jacobson. Hopefully, I don't know if he collects the default reels or not, but Matt, if you're watching this, I think you should hook onto that one. It's just awesome looking. <laughs> it's uh, honestly, this was the one and I went wow when I seen it. It's pretty awesome. I, I like it. If I had to choose my favorite, it was. This D for real 67 with me at Manila and the 66 FSL combo sculpt, which I love to see that. I think X plus is delve into those combo sculpts more and more. It's pretty awesome. All right, everybody, uh, close out my video. I would like to know what everybody else thinks. What, uh, what did you think of the announcements at the show? Those were my favorites anyway, mostly show, as you could tell. Um, just wanted to bring up some of my thoughts and some of the stuff they announced. I thought it was a pretty good show, pretty good announcements. Especially if you're a show a fan, it was a great, great show. And that's where I am. So some people may not care for it. I know some people don't care for the D for reals, but I, I like them. I'm going to get every one of those that they announced. So uh, y'all comment below. Let me know what your thoughts were, what you liked, if you didn't like. And uh, we'll talk about it. I want to thank everyone that tunes in. This is Phil the Kaiju King from my collection room in Greater Cincinnati. Y'all have a blessed day. We will talk again soon.